Okay, so now we are going to try and go on to the marking. Uh, here I have my central block, and um, an important thing you need to do is um, to mark, uh, you can see an F here, I've marked the front of the plane. I've also marked uh, two surfaces to use as my reference uh, kind of datum surfaces. I've marked a little scribe, uh, two kind of pencil marks here, to denote uh, which surfaces I'll be using to measure from. And I'll always be using these two surfaces to do all my marking out because um, although this is a squared up blank, um, it's much more accurate to use uh, the same surfaces all the time. So first thing you need to do is um, you want to make a kind of an arbitrary uh, kind of front of your plane or the toe mark. And this will be just right up to the end of the stock. And this just denotes the uh, very front limit of uh, the plane. And I'll do that through. This isn't the best place to do all the marking. So we just take a square and uh, this doesn't have to be super accurate. Um, so here we have two of those marks. Now, for this particular jack, I'll be uh, making it a 50 degree bed angle. Now, for the English style plane, for this jack, 355 millimeters long. Um, I decided on a kind of mouth area of about 115 uh, millimeters back from the front. So there's 10 and uh, 5. This obviously does not have to be super accurate. Now from here, I will mark a um, mouth line, or rather a, uh, a line which I can use as my kind of central splitting of these two pieces. And turn it round, and I want to mark two angles here. One is the bed, which is 50 and one at 10 degrees more than that. If you're using a vintage iron, you'll have to take into the taper of the iron as well. Um, since I'm using a parallel one, I'll just be using a 60 degree abutment angle. So my wedge will end up at 60 deg uh, 10 degrees. Um, ideally, your wedge should be eight to 10 degrees. So uh, use that as a calculation um, to make your abutment line. So I'm gonna set my protractor here to uh, 50. Oh dear, that's the wrong way around. And uh, mark that up. There, that's going to be my bed. Um, do the same for the other side. This is only a rough guide in, uh, when you do the cutting, so this doesn't have to be critically accurate because uh, you'll be treating this up later with a block plane. And uh, you want to join that across the top. And these, as a kind of sanity check, should join up at the correct place. Yes. Okay, and so now the bed marked add 10 degrees or whatever angle you calculated and um, from that same point here maybe a millimeter or two forward uh, or you can do at the same point and basically mark so that you have your abutment and you'll be cutting these two angles so you have two pieces and this center wedge here will be discarded. See so both sides. And of course, you trade up. And 
this is our initial marking. So now we have to cut these two angles here and uh, so that's the next step. So here we have my uh, center block and we're going to start cutting it. Um, but in the previous video I said I marked uh, from the toe 115. Um, I actually decided that that was maybe a bit too far back so I moved it forward. Uh, so now it's uh, about 95 millimeters uh, from the toe. So here we're just going to cut the uh, pieces out. Mm -hmm.